Guys, just before this video starts, I would like to just inform you guys if I smash 55 likes on this video, I will release a full blown song about GCSEs. Guys, 55 likes, let's do it. Hey guys, how you all doing? Hope you're doing well. It's Watson here and welcome back to another vlog. So guys, I don't know if you can see, but you probably can. Outside it is dark. Um, so that could either mean two things. I'm filming really, really early in the morning and it's not light yet. Or I'm filming at night time. You're probably thinking, either of the two, what are you doing? Well, basically I'm filming at night time, guys. But there is a reason for what. I'm doing. Let me explain. So guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but about six months ago, I had some um, exams, some mock exams, if you like. I did have some a few weeks ago, actually, but they weren't that big and they weren't that important, unlike all the other exams aren't important anyway. Um, yeah, but I didn't really mention that because they're not important. And yeah, I did have anyway some back in June, like six months ago, ages ago, didn't really matter about them. Um, had those exams um, and I did take a break from YouTube don't worry guys straight off here I'm not announcing another break off YouTube that is utterly ridiculous to take a break off YouTube for it. who takes breaks off YouTube for exam that, that's, that's just stupid anyway basically getting into it guys the reason I am here right now talking about these is because these exams are actually tomorrow so I don't know I can't really show you what I'm covering there so uh what basically this is, in a nutshell, I'm going to bring it up really close, that's some sort of exam timetable. I've got nine mock exams, guys, over the course of two weeks, which is absolutely just mind-boggling. But anyway, I'm going to just have to try and do them. Um, but yeah, the reason I am here today talking about this is because I just thought I have been sitting around all day not doing a lot of things, and I probably should have been revising. I don't think none of the teachers are watching this because... I probably should have been revived. Anyway, I've got one book here. I've got some more books over there. I've got a flipping revision guide over there, man. Like, I'm doing well here. But yeah, literally, guys, I've got nine exams, two weeks to do them, spread across two weeks. Let's try and do okay. But um, as I said, I'm not that bothered. And you're probably thinking, Jack, you should be bothered. This, are, These are your GCSE exams. So, hmm... I'm gonna get into that right now, guys. So guys, for you guys, if you're like the first time watching this or something, you've never seen my face before, I'm Jack Watson. This is my channel, obviously. I'm not gonna get into all the introduction like that. But I am in year 11. Um, and basically, if you don't know what happens at year 11 in the UK, you sit some exams called GCSE exams. I'm sure you are aware of all that. I don't know why I'm saying that, but anyway, that is what you do. And I've got some mock exams, which are basically practice exams for the real thing that would happen in May. I've got some practice exams, mock exams, starting tomorrow on Monday for two weeks. That is just utterly stupid. Like, I'm sorry. And I know not even thinking you to do well in your exams and that. Well, actually, I don't. This is where it gets interesting here. I can do as well as I want to do, and I can physically revise as much as I like, as much as I want. If I don't want to do anything, I don't have to do anything. It's basically up to me, as the student, how I revise. I don't want these teachers nabbling on at me, saying you must do this, you must do that. If I choose to revise my way, I choose to revise that way, basically. And that is what I'm trying to get the point across here. People, and mainly people within the school infrastructure kind of thing, i.e. teachers, think that exams and these GCSEs mean the absolute world. I'm not too sure why. I don't know if they get paid like a bonus or something if they get better grades out of you. But as I said before, I know subjects that I'm good at and I know subjects that I will work at. But I also have other subjects that I'm thinking, why do I have to do that subject and what the hell is it? So yeah, that is basically my sum up here. Basically, what I'm saying to you guys is, yeah, exams are important in a way if you've got something to go towards and that and you're trying to do really well and that, if that's what you're going for, then yeah, don't get me wrong, they are important. 
But if you're like me, like I'm gonna just say it right here now, I've got a college course lined up. I've got two courses lined up actually, and depending on what grades I get, if I get lower grades, I go into this course, which is basically the same as if I get higher grades. It, do you see what I mean? Like, does it matter? Do these really actually matter? And I'm not saying here, I'm not going to work, I'm not going to revise anything because that would just be absolutely stupid. I'm going to do some amounts of revision in that, but I'm not going to be sitting around basically sweating my ass off all day revising for a piece of paper, basically. Um, it's just not going to happen. So, yeah. Today's vlog, guys, is about revision. So, guys, there is different extents of revision. Now, my kind of revision is pretty much basic to be honest here I've got something called a knowledge organizer which basically I'm hoping tells me literally everything for the exam and what I do is I go through it and highlight it that is what I've done this is some other revision I've got these things which are apparently called flashcards pretty awesome uh, and a PLC which I'd love to know what PLC actually stands for but yeah there's some forms of my revision but these are subjects I couldn't really give a about but then I've got something else and this is for a particular subject which I'm not going to show what it is just because I'm not going to show what it is but this is for a particular subject where I am pretty fond of and I enjoy doing and I like to think I'm doing okay at the subject I've got an own dedicated folder for the subject absolutely filled with notes I've made mind maps and just knowledge organizers a bit like these things but guess what hey I actually understand what that one is about and what it is organizing this one is just scrap paper so yeah guys here are two other folders I've got one here for the other said subject that I am pretty good at I'd like to think so yeah that is also alongside with the other one and then I've got this folder here which is just stacked with little different revision notes for all the subjects which I'm not very good at and then I do have an array of old books that I can read through of subjects that I'm kind of okay at and then subjects I'm really bad at they just are so guys what I'm going to do now is going to put a picture on screen right boom that, guys, is the picture. So, what that actually is, if you don't know, that is exercise books over four years. Four years worth of exercise books that I, for some reason, got in my cupboard. Half of them, to be honest now, guys, are in the recycling bin, just to let you guys know. But, yeah, that is them. I've actually kind of blurred some names out, blurred the school out, because I'll get into serious trouble probably if I show them. But, anyway, they are the objects, the books, I don't really know why I've got so many and if you get to the end of it all they want you to revise off is a revision guide and knowledge organisers which in somewhat you're thinking I spent four years writing in those books for me to only throw them in the recycling bin Whew, that is a lot of paper wasted right there so yeah guys, that is pretty much that. I just wanted to start off this vlog with a bit of a rant about the exams and you probably want to know how do I actually revise for my exams? Well I kind of told you a bit before, some subjects I am particularly good at or I like to think I'm okay at and I can do well in, so what I then do is I'll keep some of the old books, I'll read for the books, I'll make my maps and revision notes on those and I'll have a dedicated folder for each one of those subjects kind of just how I revise basically I don't sit around my house sticking post-it notes everywhere and like literally sitting here for like 10 hours or more every flipping day I just quickly read through my notes highlight some things that need to stand out when I get to that exam I just think what I kind of know write it down and just hope for the best it is just the best way to do it guys and I'm going to just quote this here you guys can get anything if you want it okay if you want something you can get it the GTSE exams do not sit in the way of what you want. But guys, obviously because of my hate towards exams and revision and that kind of stuff, it'd only be right if I did something to show what I actually mean rather than just me sitting down talking on the vlog. So, guys, I'm going to set a like goal for this video. 55 likes guys on this video and I will release a full-blown song against 
revision and GCSE exams. Like, <laughs> that is mental, guys. 55 likes, guys. Hopefully you can smash it and I will release a song. That, it's not even going to be a diss track. Like, it's going to be insane. So, yeah, guys, 55 likes. Do it for me. Do it for the team if you want to see me embarrass myself. But yes, guys, that's enough of me ranting on about that. I'm not going to go on for that for the whole vlog. So let's just get into something else. I'd just like to first off, guys, show you around my house, which is, again, for Christmas, turned into Santa's Grotto. <laughs> Guys, that is what my house looks like. Festive, festive, festive season, guys. It is Christmas almost, so better show that with the decorations. You're probably also wondering, guys, why I'm not doing Vlogmas, because if it's Christmas, I would do Vlogmas like I did last year. Um, mm, yeah, I, I will explain that, guys, in another in another vlog, guys, I will talk about literally why I'm not doing Vlogmas, because I've got a few questions, literally, why are you not doing Vlogmas, we were, we we're expecting Vlogmas, uh, you said last year you were going to do it, again next year, and I, I haven't, I, I, I apologise guys, I will explain that in another video. Alright guys, quick catch up, two hours later, I've just been sat at this desk for about two hours editing a tech purge video. It was the one comparing the two microphones, the Rode Video Mic Pro and the Rode Video Mic Pro. And yeah, I've literally just finished editing that video. It'll already be on the tech channel now, so guys, if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description down below to the tech channel, Tech Purge, which you guys can go and check out the comparison video over there. And yeah... Pretty cool video to be honest guys, um, enjoy editing that one, sweet. Yeah guys, with all that being said, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go off and end today's vlog off right here guys, because obviously I've got those exams tomorrow. I probably don't wanna be very tired in those exams because I don't wanna fall asleep, I actually wanna get the work done. Um, so yeah, probably do a small amount of revision for the exams I've got tomorrow um, and then go to bed. Oh, and the I'm Servity finals on tonight as well, so gotta watch that but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog i do hope you guys all did go ahead and enjoy today's vlog guys remember smash 55 likes on this video if you want to see me make a song about gcse exams and yes guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys all in my next video thanks for watching guys au revoir Game. At this age, how are them man still hating? My young boy in a different country, but he ain't never been on vacation. One hand on a girl I'm dating, one hand on the cash I'm making. We come through like Funky Friday and have...